For the last three years, I've created a vision board for my desktop background for the year, and every single year someone asks me how I made it. So this video is going to be a super simple tutorial of how to make a digital vision board for 2024 using only Pinterest and Canva. Even if you're not a designer like me, you can totally do this. So grab yourself a coffee and let's go. I like to approach my goal setting and vision board making from a holistic perspective. So mine will have a mix of all of the things like life, personal, family, work, everything in one place. And this is because I firmly believe that there is so much more to life than work, especially as creative entrepreneurs, we can get so caught up in what it is that we're doing in our businesses. But you as a person are way more than just what you do with your business. I've also noticed that since getting really clear on what my goals are and then putting it together in a visual representation like this for my vision board, I have accomplished a lot of what I set out to do. Like most of the things, I'd say 95% of the things that are on my vision board from this year, I've crossed off. And I think that's because of the daily reminders that I have by setting this up on my desktop and laptop screen. Even if you don't believe in all the woo-woo things or the power of manifestation, having it there is just like, at least, at the very least, daily motivation and a reminder of why you're doing everything that you're doing. This isn't a goal setting video though, so I'll stop rambling here and I will bring you over to my screen. All right, so step one is that you are going to go into Pinterest and you are going to make an account if you don't have one, but I feel like everyone has one these days. And then you are going to make a board for your 2024 vision board. I like to make mine secret because as a creative business, it doesn't always make sense for mine to be public with like my Pinterest strategy, but you can make yours public if you want, you get to decide. Um, I've made one for previous years too. I find this like so fun. So this is like my 2023 one. And I think I've mentioned this, but like a lot of the things have come true. Like we have a home that has big windows and a floor of this color and we moved to wine country and spend lots of time outside. So it's really cool how this all works. Board for 2024, I started by actually going through my reflection on 2023 and going through my goal setting for the next year so I could have some clarity when I started pinning. And then that way I could pull the keywords from my goals to search for within my vision board. So I just started searching for keywords that aligned. So I put in like strength or um, simplify or uh, ease and these things started popping up. I also put in like wine country and chill time because like this is all of like what I want from the next year. A lot of the ideas of like slowing down stand out to me, especially because baby two is on their way and I know everything is going to change again. So we will probably be spending a lot of time at home, a lot of time making our own food and growing our own food and just like having that homegrown home time within our like season of life. I also want to explore our new province a lot more as a family and just like have daily play. So that is included in here, but at the same time, when ready, get back into full force business mode. So you'll see that there's some of that pinned as well. So I put things in here that are like related to my business goals too, of course. So for example, I have my mastermind already, but it would be amazing to see them come together in person. So there's some pictures that represent that as well. So this part is like really fun. Honestly, I did it the other night while I was sitting on the couch watching Bachelor in Paradise. I love doing that kind of thing. And I was able to like pull a bunch of stuff together. Once you're done pinning things, you're going to go through, and this is way too many to put into your Canva board, but it will like help you narrow things down from here. So pick your favorite ones and you're just going to click on them, right click and save them to your computer. And then we will hop on over to Canva once you have all of the ones that you might want to include in your digital vision board. Okay. So now we're over in Canva and if you don't have a Canva account, then you're going to have to create one. And then you're going to go into create a design. When you click on create a design, it's going to ask you what kind of design you want to create or the dimensions that you want. So just look up the dimensions of your desktop backgrounds and you can plug that in. 
I like to go into the ones that I've created in previous years because as you will see, I have a couple here. So this is 2022s and then I copied it over so it could become 2023, um, but I'm gonna use the same one. So I'm gonna go into file and make a copy and then I'm gonna call it my 2024 vision. And then in here, I'm gonna duplicate the page. Now I have a new page. So I'm gonna start working on this. When you get started, you're gonna have a blank page like this, which is totally fine. Uh, then I want you to go into uploads and then upload all of the files that you just saved from Pinterest. After all of your images are in your uploads over here, you're just gonna start dragging them over and putting them in the spots you want and shrinking them up and layering them. So it's exactly how you like. What else is there? We'll pop this one in. I like to put ones that are like um, more background imagey, you know, like in the corners. So like this one, because then other things can layer on top of them like this, if that makes sense. I'm just going to go through and arrange them exactly how you want. You get to be creative with this, which is the really fun part of it and why it's kind of like therapeutic or cathartic. I want to like adjust the layer. It's super simple. You just right click and click on layer and then you can like bring it forward, maybe bring it forward again. And now it's above this one like I wanted it to be. started adding in some words over top which if you want to do that you just add element and you can click on like a shape minus a square that I like stretch out and then you click on the type of text that you want and then you just change the font to be whatever your brand font is or whatever font you really want. I like to have words and little reminders of my goals layered on top but you can also just leave it as the images and that is totally fine you get to decide what works best for you. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I will show you the finished product. And that's it. I think I am finished here. I like to title the page as 2024, since I keep them all in the same spot. When you are happy with what yours looks like, you're just gonna click on share, scroll down to download. And I like to download as JPEG. Um, select which page you want. If you have multiple pages like me, done and download and that is it like i said it is super simple to create one of these for yourself and i hope you got some inspiration along the way of how to approach your goal setting and creating your vision board for 2024. if you followed along this far i would love to know if you did go ahead and make your own vision board alongside me in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i will chat with you soon